warning. Lots of questions to you and lots of free associations watching the compilation video. So stay tuned and be prepared for, for everything, I guess. Oh. So hey guys and welcome to the channel. In today's video we are going to the reaction video for uh, Zinunev TikTok compil um, compilation, yeah, like TikTok edits compilation part three. So I believe they are one of the one of the couples, pairs, ships, whatever uh, that is supported the most by the fandom and it has the most compilation videos though they are kind of is it like meaning like together because yeah uh z z is definitely one of the person who did boy love genre before and he has experience but together they are quite new and still Afghan definitely has like this much of compilation videos and stuff but after that I mean if we don't can count those boy love genre actors who no longer work together because those <clears throat> definitely have like many compilation videos still on the internet or they are not at least currently working together on projects as boy love genre actors so they are the most frequent the most famous and popular and the most supported by by fandom and i'm always happy to see that coming so i liked i subscribed i left a comment so we are good to go guys please don't forget support this channel that channel all of our channels so we can continue what we are doing and now let's dive Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> How many brands do they support currently? Because I know this is kind of a thing in, generally speaking, probably in boy love, or not boy love, like uh, audiovisual industry that very early on these actors start to, to support some brands. So I am like, how are they doing it? specifically like can they support at the same time more brands if they are not like let's say like hairstyles so one brand of shampoo and then like one brand of clothes or something like that or that it's is, is it like forbidden to like collide or like how does this work how many brands they can support at the same time does do they have their own brands because that as well like i mean even among youtubers right like they have all of them all of a sudden have their own brands. So how does this work? Ooh. 
Yeah, this one is kind of popular, right? <laughs> Question. Uh, is any because I like Domundi and you have named all of the cup couples pairs, all of the pairs from Domundi. Uh, is any of them definitely want to think for everything you have done for me in a year? <laughs> uh, is any of them because uh, I do. I did reaction video for Ned James, so I know how they interact. I did a reaction video for Zinunev, I know how they interact. I did a reaction video for Sam, Max, Ned. That is one is coming yet, so stay tuned. Uh, so I kind of, I would say that I do know how they interact. They might, they might be probably the wildest of these three mentioned, but you have mentioned like quite a lot more of those who are under this company. So my question would be. Are any of them, okay, this is going to be the misleading question, then I'm going to ask the proper question. Is any of them, like, wild, wild to the extent of, let's say, Ongdang or Earth Mix? One version of that question. Second version of that question, who is the most wild in terms of, like, interaction in real life from all of the actors that are under Domundi? I am I am staying tuned for your answers, guys. So don't disappoint me. Like from what I have seen, because of the jealousy part, probably I I would label as dead like Max and Ned. Not not. Should I call him not? So I we are not confused with uh, Ned James. So like Max Nat are probably. The closest to what I think, but I haven't seen like, you know, the other ones. So, anyone, any suggestions? Any anyone want to point their direction and and yeah, try this. I'm open for it. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> and who is the youngest of them? Uh, is it is it not? Because I if I remember correctly, uh, Nunev is uh, approximately one year older. He's like or no like uh, Please, like, who is the youngest one of them? And I expect that Z is going to be the oldest one of them. I'm not sure. But still, it's 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 really something that he managed to stay in this industry, not changing to being, I don't know, like, producer or something. And yeah, he's sticking to that stuff. I, I know, like, I, I from what I remember, which might be very misleading, but... From what I remember, Z wasn't like he wasn't like in every series since I don't know like 2018 or whatnot. He wasn't, but he was in few significant ones. So those I remember, or you know, <laughs> all those compilations and videos floating on the internet. So yeah, and he's still staying. He's still an extra. And he still has something to say, and I, I love it. I don't know if someone of you, or if I have read it just somewhere, like, he is able to create great chemistry with anyone. But, but these two. <laughs> and, like, definitely, it's something different compared to what we were used to, 
even in terms of how like what our projects de- like are and I mentioned it but you probably have you wouldn't know unless you watched my reaction videos for cutie pie cutie pie season two I think I, I said it in cutie pie season one uh, reaction videos uh, or some final review if I did for those series I, I think I haven't did for se- season two cutie pie never mind uh, these projects they made are kind of a dream for me come true because uh, those projects definitely like not project like those stories definitely did exist in in the past where I don't know like it's the category of male pregnancy forced marriage uh, of the same sex uh, and I don't know but if, when he's wearing those ears so the air the elf stuff in uh, like f- usually like in fandoms right so some some of the characters were dressed as as something and and it happened and like even if we mention like um, bdsm practices i it's an in it's unimaginable to happen like 10 15 years ago uh, in an audio visual in boy love genre so where we got since then it's like pretty impressive and i know that like these plots are not realistic and i don't want to dress it as being realistic in the you know the realism should stem from the relationships not from the like plot devices basically but I still love that someone is brave enough to actually make these, make this come true. Uh, they, they are doing it openly. They they are doing it like seriously and with like, like gracefully. They, they are not belittling the authors or they are not attempting to make fun out of it, because if you give chance these these stories then you just see that they have its seriousness the layer of seriousness is there but it's it's not where like people who are strictly based in reality would find or search for it uh i i think like even those things that are unrealistic helps the story it helps to convey what is said but like people were scared and afraid of like diving into it doing it in audio visuals and i would really love to know since when this is happening but i see like cutie pie the next prince and stuff like that like very uh, modern era um type of like the, the even the, the it is done but even the form of how it is done and the quality of how it is done I see it as a like big progression from from and the, here's the problem I don't want to say the industry because I believe there are still people who are just opposed to homosexuality the, the, there are still problematic stuff in it and that yes like people are dragging it out to the open so we are aware of it and it's you know it's it's really difficult so i i don't want to generalize it overly but i think it's still a movement towards like the direction we want it to be to more freedom for minorities to more open society that can um like yes if you are new then you probably are going to hate what you see even in cutie pie however like cute and fluffy that series is but you know like if if people are not going to know about it then they are going to judge it for sure but if they see it and if they at least listen to the part that is like relatable which is the relationship stuff then it's very good and okay to do and it's helpful so for that reason alone I am I'm really I'm really glad that we have now finally 
series and and stories like Cutie Pie and The Next Prince and I don't like Hit by Love, uh, Bad Friend, uh, uh, that stuff, The Unforgettable or Unforgotten or What Not Night, like stuff like this, Chains of Heart, right? Kim Bo the series, like that we have these projects in the open, that we can watch them, that we can decide if we like it or not, and it's, you know, it's done much more like um, open, friendly way, you don't have to dig to see or hear these things, or watch these things, or like read these things, you don't have to dig that deep into like fandoms or whatnot. That these stories find their way to the audiences that that like them, and I would as well probably like to know from you guys if you like about Cutie Pie, like the chemistry of the characters, or if the even the story, the plot is digestible for you. If you don't mind it being like historical and whatnot nonsense, like what uh, what are your approaches that you with, with which you are watching those series? I'm curious about it, and maybe if you are longer in the in the boy love genre stuff, if your thoughts and opinions on that matter changed, and as well if you are the generation who did have the approach to this stuff right away, which means when you started to watch boy love genre, you immediately had the access to something like Cutie Pie, like unrealistically based plotline. How do you perceive it? Do you see it as a normal? I guess probably the answer would be yes. But... And those of you who are more... How to put it? Like experienced in this stuff and you weren't born into it? Did your approach to this stuff change? Like whichever way? Like, were you opposed to it when you read it because it was too much of a nonsense and then you saw the chemistry of Zinunef and you immediately knew that this one is right? Like, how, what were your journeys? I would like to hear about the one. Wishes as well. Like, these ships bear couples. Uh -huh. What are your approaches to it? Do you trust it? Believe it? Do you just enjoy it? Do you think it's real? Do you just say it's real for the fun's sake? Or or do you judge uh, the realness of it based on what you see and what uh, the actors and people who are um, like off screen behind the cameras and stuff like that, like who prepared these for you? Uh, like, what, what do you think about this? Or, like, is it something that you would wish that were real in real life? Like, what, what, what is your approach towards it? Uh -huh. <laughs> and as well, I remember now, I would love for you to finally answer me. If you would be opposed or absolutely for Zinunev doing the vampire story. Because I would love to see that one coming.
right, guys. All right. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Have a nice day. Take care. And for now, bye-bye.